we are back with the Division 1 game between Redwood Monsoon and E Nightmare. Um, Redwood Monsoon were allowing the extra time for E Nightmare to get a sub in. And we have Dutch transferring over from Team Insert Name to the E Nightmare squad for this game and for the rest of the season, of course. Let's try and get this underway as quick as possible now. Okay, everything's looking okay. Team so okay. Players are getting in for a decisive game here for the two teams. E Nightmare probably want to win here if they want to have a shot at the playoffs. Red Ward wants in if they clean sweep, they go directly into a playoff spot. Alright, Boy Nightmare going off the corner wall into the middle type, pushing it wide though. Good clearance high and following it very well. And each one play with your right Dutch, not going towards it. And Gelsen with the miss. Goes onto the corner. Cyrax is already up. Going for the shot. Put down and wide though. Free nightmare. Not giving Type the time to get forward. With red water. Cyrax right, coming in from the back post to get a better clear than what could have come from Dutch. And he fought AJL. Not able to get there. And Gelsen recovers. The AJL defensive error from behind. AJL, they come, come from the shot, open net pretty much for him as the ball is played across. And Redwater Monsoon take a one goal lead. Just under 45 seconds left to play. Just saw too many E Nightmare players forward. They pushed a bit too high. There was a huge gap for the Redwater to attack into. Dutch not getting connection with the ball. AJL with the block. The miss, though, means that Dutch can go for the shot. Trying to turn it into the top corner. Saved by Type. And Gels and squandering about in the net. And pinched away clear. Andy up the wall. Type pushing it down, though. Towards the net. Dutch can't make it. Cyrax can't either off the bar. AJL with the two goal lead. Just over one minute played, and they're looking very strong here. Pushing very well as a team. Eat Nightmare. Maybe not looking great because of the recent changes to the team. It's just not working out for them. It's Red Wall to have a two-goal lead. E Nightmare not getting the kick off there. Andy with the clear. Cyrax AFK at the moment, but the game can't tell. Can't tell if there's ping issues or what's going on. But goal's gone in, and surely the game has to go on still, despite. What's going on? But so confused. <laughs> Just gonna head this over. Don't know what going on. Right, I'm gonna send it back. Those type schools have heard, but it's three v one. And I, what what's happening? Sea nightmare versus red water. All of you nightmare back in. We'll just let this game play out. Cyrax and Andy pushing forward free Nightmare. Cyrax going for the shot to turn it in, not there. Dutch with the follow-up. AJL blocking it though. Can't tell if this will count as game one or we'll have another one. Cyrax with the pull pinch. But Dutch faking out type. I'm trying to flick it forward quickly. Start an attack. AJL down to himself. Andy pushing forward though. Into the middle here. And Gelsen with the clear. It's pinched out to the corner. Cyrax into the middle. AJL out wide very strongly. But keeps going back and forth between the two teams. No team asserting any dominance. They're not going for it all on their own. They're allowing the opposition to push forward on both ends of the field. Dutch into the middle. 
Gelson with a good clear. He needs to make connection with that, otherwise it's going in. Cyrax with the miss. Type going up the wall, but Cyrax pushing him off. Not able to get there fully. The pinch turning it away. Very risky between the two Nightmare defenders. And Cyrax can now push forward off that. However, his touch was too strong. It's gifted straight back to Red Water. It's quite. Since the players joined back, it's been quite even, but still very unsure about what happened in that one minute space where a lot of the players left. Shot coming in, Andy going for the redirect. The girls and keeping it going. But Tyrant's committing to that very well. Andy onto the back wall where it's awkward for Redwater players, Dutch. Pushing it too far away and Red Water can push on from here if it wasn't for Cyrax putting the pressure on. Dutch with the shot opportunity. Andy going for the redirect. But if it was a pass and Gelson was there and you know Mayor Player wouldn't have been able to reach it in time. Gel with the miss. Andy with the open net chance. One goal back. 30 seconds left to go. Three one here. Wants a red water side. Hey, gel downs type. Type taking the shot, not making it though. Andy away. Irax to clear it, but type with the miss. Taking it over two. One on one, but Dutch clearing it away just in time. AJL out. Sorry, it's back in. One second left. Red Wolves to take the first game. If it is to count anyway. Nightmare trying to push forward for a goal, but it's Red Wolves' win. Just going to confirm that what's happened. We're going to count that as a victory? I guess so, but... Win for Redwood Monsoon in game one. No one's picked up about it. Okay, let's... Join in for game number two. One nil to Red Horde once soon at the moment. The Nightmen really need to push forward. A lot more than they have and put more pressure on. They did have lower numbers for a good chunk of that game. And they're at the disadvantage throughout. Dutch trying to push forward free Nightmare. Direct taking the aerial attempt back in. But pass from Gels into AJL. Takes it into the corner and goes for the redirect attempt away from Cyrax. Type up. Gonna pop it out to himself. Dutch with the good clearance. And Cyrax trying to go for the demo or bump play off the only goalkeeper. And he playing it down. Dutch with the good 50 50 using the strength of the Batmobile. Get it forward, but Redwood keeping it away from their goal. But just not keeping it out of their half. That's their problem at the moment, they're just not getting it out like they did in game number one. Need to calm it down a bit more. Cyrax with the miss. Andy's committed to that, but it worked out perfectly fine. He managed to make contact with the ball. HL trying to make a pass. Andy going for the redirect off the bar and away here from type. Dutch keeps going. Into the middle, Dutch going for the touch. Off the backboard, an open net presented, but Engelsen with the good last ditch save to get it away. Dutch and Cyrax with the double commit. Engelsen away. Andy's up. On towards left, Dutch, who may be able to get redirected, but he's too late to the ball at the moment. Going back in again, though. 
Andy going for the shot off the bar, down, and AJL landing on it perfectly, luckily, as well from him. Good nightmare. Getting forward, Cyrax with the redirect onto the backboard, straight to Dutch. The pinch goes back towards the nightmare half and may have pressure onto them soon. Still nil nil here with two minutes played, neither the team getting forward too much. E Nightmare having the majority of the pressure and possession though. As we see Cyrax putting it back on again. Type. Going for the counter attack though, Dutch away. Good speed from him. Into the corner where it's nearly an open net for Red or for E Nightmare. Girls in the way. It's him versus Andy. He goes for the turtle finish and it pays off. Nearly, nearly thought Andy was going to get back in time though. But it just seems like the angle was distorted a bit more than it should have been. And Gelsen taking the lead for Edwater. Despite the run of pressure. Going towards the nightmare. Thyrax is up. Into the middle. Gelsen out to the left. Type going for the redirect but Dutch... Didn't quite get there in the end, he tried to do a turn which slowed him down. And he making a good pre-jump read. Over to the left. The Nightmare still pushing forward into the middle here. The save and clear coming out from the two Red Wolves players, I mean Gels and... And AJL. But the Nightmare keep putting the pressure on, they want the goal back. They feel like they deserve it a bit more. But demo coming out and the shot not quite coming on. Agel struggling to get it forward back onto his own backboard. And Gelsen riskily down off the roof, but it's still lingering around the edge of the box. Good block from Agel. Dutch up very quickly though, passing it to Andy, who just clears it away for Red Water, trying not to give them a good enough clear. Dutch going for the shot. It's over to Andy, but Andy waits for the touch by type. And he gets it in the middle, and Gelsen is already prepared for it. Maybe he, he should have gone for the earlier attempt. Cyrax towards goal. AJL cleared out to the left once again, and type. Not quite making connection with the ball. Gelsen to type. The 1 2 play here. Back to type again. The shot not coming off. No connection made. Redwater really should have made better of that opportunity. Andy onto the backboard and Gelsen away. One minute left. Red Water looking a bit panicked at the moment as they have the one goal advantage. But Dutch coming in for the shot. Taking the equaliser here with 50 seconds left to play. As I was saying, Red Water just not really working it out between them who's going. And they're struggling a bit to keep it together after their one goal lead. Just went all the nightmares way for at least a minute. Fake kickoff here. Type onto the left. Dutch with the speed to get it past type though. Gelsen going for the touch off the backboard. Andy with the demo on AJL, but it doesn't matter. And then Gelsen gets it over one. One on one attempt with Cyrax here. He takes his time. And maybe too much time as Cyrax had the time to react there. Type going for the shot. Off the bar down. AJL back into the centre. Cyrax not able to get it clear. Same with Dutch. Just pass up to type, but Dutch with some speed to get it away. Maybe going for double touch off the backboard. He does cleared away by Angels, and then it's one all at the moment. Type onto the backboard with a great save with five seconds left to go. Dutch trying to go again. The nightmare trying to get it in regulation. It's up. Type down and overtime here in game number two. Redwater one and up in the series. Alright, it's pushing forward, three nightmare and girls in the way. Dutch pushing towards goal again, he's got, having a really good performance here. After the transfer, AJL with the good read though, the good redirect, pushing it up. And as the open net here, as E Nightmare players are just not able to work out the defensive rotation, defensive positioning. Alright, it's trying to go for the reads off the roof opportunity. I'm gonna make use of that flip type. Go for an air dribble, maybe go for the flip preset earlier on that didn't work out and puts it wide. Much missing, AJL towards the backboard. It's very awkward here, free nightmare. 
We're still trying to get back, but Andy clears it away in perfect style. Zyrax for the shot onto the wall and cleared away for four red water. Right back and forth once again, just like the beginning of the game. With the team really managing to get much on. Alright, it's taking his time. Pop doesn't quite work in girls and getting the right angle and height to almost beat him then in any situation there. Alright, out to Andy. Andy trying to play it over to Dutch, but Dutch isn't ready in there for Andy over one, over two, and Gelsen with the last ditch clear. Getting a lot of reads so far. Dutch getting it past one off the backboard. AJL with the clear, but still anyone's ball here down. Open net, but Dutch not able to turn it in with the open goal. Red Water stay alive here in game two. The middle now, over everyone. Sorry, it's not able to turn it in. It's still in the Red Water box. So Andy puts it straight back towards the goal. Finally clear by Type and maybe relieving a bit of pressure here. Rotations are quite weak here from Red Water. Type managing to get it over from Andy's shot. It's still back in. Type needs to do something again. Doesn't quite make connection. Cyrax not able to turn it. Powerful enough to get it back to Dutch. Dutch with a brilliant save. Cyrax backwards not able to get a strong clear but ends up taking it himself. Type playing it straight back to Cyrax with the open net. An E nightmare. After 2 minutes and 24 of overtime, take game 2 and equalise the series up. Type with the poor panic touch into the middle. He should have taken more time. Should have just readjusted his, his car to play it out wide. He didn't do that though. And it resulted in a goal to nightmare. And the winning goal in that matter. Game three here. Very des decisive one in the run of pressure. Whoever wins here has the upper hand in game four. Yeah, them only having one series win to win the entire thing. And Gels and go for this shot. The double free jump. Andy managing to read it perfectly though. Type going for the air dribble. Good attempt, but just plays it wide. And Gels and towards AJL. AJL managing to get it back to Gels and the shot coming in weak and not quite going towards the net. E Nightmare can counter here. Demo slowing it down a bit though. Like having a lot of time. Over Dutch going for the air dribble. Great play by him, but pinches away off the backboard. He should have just let it drop after the third touch. Now E Nightmare with passing play. Dutch not able to get onto the end of Cyrax's pass. Good play here from Ingelsen. Both teams here playing very well. They're both getting creative plays out, surprising the opposition with their passing and freestyle, not freestyle, but creative chances and solo opportunities. Neither team managing to score yet. Ingelsen on to the right, back into the centre where he can take it again. Good read from him. Allowing the Nightmare player to fly straight past it. Type one on one with Andy. Andy looping it clear, but it's a bit weak. A bit too far forward where Type can get it back. Trying to go for the double touch, takes it past one with the second attempt. But E Nightmare going forward now. Dutch. Going for the Tarzan attempt. Back into the centre. Type away. Still. Nil nil once again. Neither team's really getting goals within the early stages of game two or three here. Despite that, AJL will go for the shot just wide, and Cyrax and Andy couldn't decide who it, who was going to go. Type onto the backboard, Cyrax away once again. Let's play the middle, no one's saying. Girls and nearly getting bumped out of the way, but recovering. AJL is up, trying to use the air to his advantage to get a better angle, but it's cleared. Tyrax going onto the back. We'll go for the double touch. The angle's there, and he pushes it in, Dutch, here. They finish the great move from Cyrax. 
perfect play from your Nightmare, taking the opposition by surprise. Like I was saying, that's just what they need to do, get forward and do creative plays which the opposition don't understand, and your Nightmare have done that just now. So Rx is a good double touch towards goal. 1-0 here, half the game left. Sarax so going for the shot again, AJL not able to backflip into it. And it's 2-0 here. Sarax being the man of the moment twice here. Getting the assist and the goal in the two-goal game free nightmare. Sarax. Here we go for the second goal day type, denying that though. Pushing forward himself. Andy pushing forward, taking it into the corner, into the middle, not quite, and Gelsen gets it away. Alright, is down. The shot coming in from Dutch, saved by Type. Gelsen, keeping it going for Edwater, they're trying to put pressure on, but just not coordinating their attacks well enough. Gelsen missing the ball, just about getting the pinch away with the backboard though. The lower end of it, at least. Then we're coming out here. Dutch and Cyrax pinching it towards the top corner. And Andy with the final shot. AJL managing to get there this time to turn it away. Dutch is keeping the pressure on here. Free Nightmare. A relentless attack. So really punishing Red Water. Dutch going for the touch off the backboard down. Andy taking his time over one. Backflipping with the flick. Cyrax pushing it onto the backboard. And that should really have been a goal. Free Nightmare. Could have been a finishing moment. Andy's up. Missing the ball. Dutch going for the second attempt. And Gelsen getting it clear even though it wasn't going in. Like with the open net to push it into. It's wide. Bounces up very high. It's away from Andy. The water pushing up very well at that moment. But now it's turned up the other way again. Tight missing the ball and Gelsen getting it. It's an open goal right now. Andy pushing it down. Cleared by type. But there's pressure still on Free Nightmare. The rotation's perfect. AJ just about to clear. Type getting it forward towards goal. Cyrax is just able to get there to keep the Nightmare players without pressure here. Two goal cushions still for them. Type pushing forward Andy trying to play it to Cyrax, but his rotation doesn't work out in that way. 10 seconds left for Red Water to get two goals. It's not looking likely. Almost looking impossible. Cyrax going for the shot again. It seems to be all over here. E Nightmare taking game three. Red Water trying to get a consolation goal. Not working out. E Nightmare turned this around. At the moment. E Nightmare probably can relax a little bit more now. They have a series or game advantage, should I say. Red Water having to win two in a row now. E Nightmare just having to win one of the next two to win the entire series and start pushing back up on the league standings. Game four here. And he taking his time, it's going out to the right. Taking the touch again, the speed coming in from Andy. It's pushing down. The demo coming out and AJL with the brilliant clear to keep it away. The instant pressure from E-Nightmare is showing the opposition that they're not going to stop from last game. Andy looking it up. Dutch beating Engelsen to it, but Engelsen just being that one step ahead in terms of the read. Type trying to get it into the middle. Going up high, but Andy's there on the backboard ready for it. Clear down the centre, which shouldn't really have happened, but it works out anyway, due to the bounce. Dutch pushing it into the centre, Andy being the only one ready for it, he pushes it into the net, and 1-0 here to be Nightmare. So two defenders here from Redwater, it's glued to the ground almost, they're not working out what to do. Andy's the only one prepared, he's perfectly positioned. He takes the opening goal early on here. Alright, it's going up. Onto the backboard, down. Pipe has to play it onto the left. Gelsen taking the ceiling. Doesn't go towards the ball. 
Barrett's into the middle. Andy going for it. Cleared away by AJL. Doesn't keep it in the centre. A strong play here from Redwater, but there's no one in the middle anyway. Kill jumping over the Andy demo. Into the middle here from Cyrax and cleared by AJL. And Russian's now off Redwater for a moment at least. Andy's just playing very smart here. He takes the goal as well, as I say that, into the top corner. Taking player of age out with the flick and also that may have been in Gelsen but what I was saying is Andy's just playing very smart here he's going for demos when needed and trying to pressurize the red water defense just that little bit more than the fact they're taking a lot of shots here we have Cyrax with the angle taking the flick in towards net 3-0 up free nightmare game four here they're 2-1 up this game it's heading for a series win here. Great angle from him. Type not able to get back in time. Now 3 0. Pinch goes high. Cyrax onto the wall. Play down, but Dutch is there ready for it. Taking a shot goal. Type away. Cyrax back in. And he's up onto the wall, into the middle as well, him and Dutch double committing. And then Gelsner has the opportunity to take it forward, not making connection though, Cyrax away. Double commit here for me, Nightmare. AJL being beaten to it by Andy, the play 1-2 from Type and AJL, but... I wasn't able to get the demo from Andy again. Cyrax with the open net, playing it wide though and pinching it away, stopping the opportunity from Andy as well. We go for Reed. Gelsen smartly plays it quite thin to the wall. Cleared by Andy and Unite may need to push forward, or don't need to, but they are going to push forward. Another goal. Send Redwater away here. But flick out type, going for the shot. And getting a goal back here for Redwater once soon. Very quick play there from Type, the defender from me Nightmare, not able to get back in time towards the net, almost being taken out of the game from the speed. If Redwater could get back into this here. Cyrax in the middle, but there's no one there ready for it. Andy into the middle, knocked away, Dutch. Getting pre jumped by AJL, really risky play for Redwater, but they need to keep doing this to push forward and get goals back. Type over to the left, where Dutch is waiting on the opposition. Go for the flick into the middle, going towards the net, but doesn't quite reach as in goals and makes it clear. And you're receiving the ball on the backboard. Cyrax on the left, back into the centre, maybe. AJL clearing it. And Redwood need to push forward quickly to get anything out of the series at all now. Dutch with a good pinch out to the left. And Gelsen keeping the pressure on Andy, bumping him out of the way. And Gelsen going for the shot, Dutch with a great save onto the post, keeping E Nightmare in hit. Andy pushing forward. Type away, but Cyrax back into the middle, going for the double touch attempt towards goal, saved by AJL. Type forward. Cyrax down, but AJL's still there. Good rotation from Redwater right now. They need to keep this going. But do need to get a goal soon. Goals into the middle. Andy missing it. Dutch ready for it though. Goals and knocking it into the centre. Andy not going for the ball fully. Trying to wait for the 50 50 and the double attacking commits here. From Redwater stops the chance of them getting a goal back here. Cyrax with the play over onto the bar. He pushes it back and type, not expecting the miss, and pushes it into his own net. Turning it in. Cyrax with a good play. Type trying to go for the pre jump, but it ends up going straight into him into the back of the net. E Nightmare nearly with a confirmed win here. 
as Fred Water can get free kickoff goals. Not looking that way, Cyrex. Into the corner. And he goes for the shot. HL clear, but Fred Water maybe looking for a consolation goal here. HL with the air dribble into the middle. It's pushed down by the Nightmare players, and that's 3 1 series win for E Nightmare. Good performance. Good play. They push up to equal Red Water once soon, I believe, in the table right now. Let's double check here. They're minus two, they're plus. Yeah, I mean, Red Water are above on series four. So that could just keep them above. But E Nightmare level on points. With Monsoon, Glacier Orange, and Shadow Stalkers. Looking very interesting. Playoff fights right now in the upcoming games, but head over. This. Yes. 